this is Mark Cherry. So he may not be a household name, but chances are you've been captivated by his storytelling without even realizing it. From the suburbs of Wisteria Lane to the glamorous mansions of Beverly Hills, Cherry has created some of the most iconic and beloved TV shows of our time. And today we're deep diving into the world of Mark Cherry and exploring the themes, techniques, and memorable moments that make his shows so unforgettable. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor. Hey everyone, so are you a fan of mystery and romance? Do you ever just want to escape the stresses of everyday life and take a break in a wholesome world filled with heartwarming stories and mouth-watering baked goods? And I've got the perfect game for you, Love and Pies. So Love and Pies is a free-to-download game. It's available both on Android and iOS. In this game, you get to build your own thriving cafe by combining the resources into delicious baked goods, serving your customers, and renovating your space. But that's not all. You also get to uncover dark family secrets, explore long-forgotten romantic feelings, and solve intriguing mysteries alongside the game's main character, Amelia Green. Amelia is a single mom who moves to the countryside to live in her old family cafe after a rough divorce, and as she works to restore store the cafe to its former glory she uncovers secrets that have been buried for years the story blends sitcom telenovela and cozy mystery with a dash of humor making it the perfect escape for anyone looking for a little drama and intrigue in their lives what's great about love and pies is that it's not just a one-dimensional game you get to meet a wonderful cast of diverse characters challenging yourself in various events and competitions and exploring new story content that's released regularly and put your creativity to test when customers and decorating your world. Personally, my favorite aspect of the game is its storytelling. It's like being immersed in a cozy mystery novella where you get to be part of the action and make choices that affect the outcome of the story. So if you're looking for a fun and engaging game to play, then you don't want to miss out on Love and Pies. So make sure to download it using the link below and let me know what you think in the comments. And a big thank you to Trail Mix, the developers of Love and Pie, for sponsoring this video. Mark Cherry was born in Los Angeles, California on March 23, 1962. However, he grew up in Long Beach and graduated from California State University with a full degree in theater arts. Cherry is openly gay and has incorporated LGBT themes and characters into his shows. Cherry started his career as a writer for professional television shows such as The Golden Girls, The Facts of Life, and ALF. In 1999, he wrote the pilot for a show called Desperate Housewives, which was eventually picked up by ABC and became a massive hit. Cherry served as the show's creator, head writer, and executive producer for its entire eight-season run. After Desperate Housewives, Cherry created the Lifetime series Devious Maids and the CBS All Access series Why Women Kill. Cherry has cited several inspiration for his shows, including experiences growing up in a suburban community and his fascination with classic Hollywood films and televisions. He has also mentioned his admiration for other TV writers and producers such as Norman Lear, Ryan Murphy, and Aaron Spelling. Cherry has said that he strives to create shows that combine comedy, drama, and suspense, and that explore the lives and relationships of women in a nuanced and authentic way. When Desperate Housewives premiered in 2004, it was part of a wave of primetime soap operas that were gaining popularity on television networks. These shows also included Grey's Anatomy and Lost, blended elements of drama, comedy, and mystery to create addictive storylines and memorable characters. Desperate Housewives stood out from the pack with its satirical take on suburban life, its all-female ensemble cast, and its innovative use of narration and flashbacks. And so I thought, well, good heavens, no one's ever really written about that aspect of female existence. You know, you get the life you want, and it still makes you crazy. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, I, I have to write about this. In 2006, so Cherry revealed Desperate Housewives was a tribute to Sex and the City because of the relationship between the four women and also Six Feet Under for the dark and twisted sensibility. He said, and I quote, When I conceived my series, I thought that women of Sex and the City always tried to find the perfect man. I wondered what would happen if the four of them found the perfect man and were going to live in the suburbs in these fantastic houses. They wouldn't be happy anyways. This is the beginning of my series. Four women who move to the suburbs get the kind of life they always wanted and suddenly discover that they're desperate. It is an exploration of the unhappiness of women. Which, you know, this is a questionable way to describe such a culturally impactful show, but, you know, I digress. 
Critics praised Desperate Housewives for its witty writing, clever storytelling, and standout performances from actresses such as Terry Hatcher, Felicity Hoffman, and Ava Longoria. The show won multiple Emmys and Golden Globes in its early seasons and quickly became a ratings juggernaut for ABC. However, as the show progressed, some critics and audiences felt that it had become too convoluted and reliant on shock value and its ratings and critical acclaim began to decline. When Devious Maid premiered on Lifetime in 2013, it was met with controversy over its portrayal of Latina women as domestic servants. However, the show also received some praise for its diverse cast and attempt to showcase domestic workers' complex and often hidden lives. Devious Maid struggled to find an audience. The show premiered on Lifetime in 2013 and was later picked up by Lifetime's sister network, the Lifetime Movie Network, for its fourth and final season in 2016. Despite its struggles to find an audience and controversies over its portrayal of Latina women as domestic servants, Devious Maids managed to sustain a dedicated fan base throughout its run and has since gained a cult following. When Why Women Killed premiered on CBS All Access in 2019, it was part of a new wave of streaming shows that were pushing the boundaries of traditional TV storytelling. The show's anthology format, which explored the lives of three women in different decades, allowed for experimentation with the genre, tone, and visual style. Critics praised the show for its boldness, sharp writing, and standout performances from actresses such as Lucy Liu, Jennifer Goodwin, and Kirby. Be Howl Baptist. Unfortunately, the show would be canceled after two seasons. Okay, so hey y'all, before I get into this video, I want to give a few disclaimers. The first one is obvious, but there may be possible spoilers. I've actually tried my best to give the essence of the shows without spoiling too much, but nonetheless, this is my warning that there may be possible spoilers. Second thing is a trigger warning. I mentioned a couple of times in the video about a character unaliving themselves because it's a pretty essential part of the show. There are also some more intense topics mentioned in the video, but I've tried my best to keep every topic as clean as possible. Lastly, if you're a fan of any of these shows and I didn't mention a certain character or storyline that you wish I did, I'm sorry about that. I simply couldn't mention all the characters and st or storylines in a video about essentially three different shows. In passing, this is also my apology in advance. If I somehow end up saying something that offends someone, I've tried my best to double check everything and make sure there's nothing wrong with anything I've said. However, if there is, here's my official apology. Now that we can get back into the video. Well, life wouldn't be so hard on yourself given her history. What do you mean? You know, the affair. Gabby had an affair? You didn't know? No. I thought everybody knew. Mark Cherry shows are known for their complex and nuanced portrayal of women. In a show's women aren't just relegated to supporting roles or simplified stereotypes. They're the driving forces behind the plot and are given agency and power in their own right. Cherry shows often feature women from different backgrounds with different personalities, desires, and motivations. They're not one dimensional, but instead they're multi-layered and complex characters with their own flaws and strengths. Cherry shows Shows explore issues specific to women such as gender inequality, sexism, and misogyny and how they intersect with other forms of oppression such as racism and classism. By centering women's experiences and perspective, Sherry's shows provide a powerful and nuanced commentary on society's social and cultural dynamics. Cherry's commitment to portraying complex and multifaceted women has made a significant impact on the television industry and has inspired other show creators to follow suit. Thank you. Proven. For staying as beautiful as I remember. When'd you come up with that one? Romance no, and relationships are significant themes in Mark Cherry's shows as they often drive the plot and provide emotional depth to the characters. In Desperate Housewives, the relationship between the women and their romantic partners are a central focus. From the early seasons with Mike and Susan's Will They Won't They to Bree's tumultuous relationships with Orson and Reg to Gabrielle's affairs and Lynette's struggles with Tom, romantic relationships provide a continuous source of drama and 
and conflict. Similarly, in Devious Maids, the romantic entanglements of the maids as well as their employers drive much of the plot. In Why Women Kill, relationships are explored in a much more nuanced and complex way. The show examines the dynamics of marriage, infidelity, and divorce through the lenses of three women in different periods from Simone's struggle to maintain the illusion of the perfect marriage in the 1980s to Beth Ann's journey towards self-discovery and independence in the 1960s to Taylor's exploration of her sexuality and identity in the present day. The show provides a multifaceted examination of romantic relationships. The theme of romance and relationships is a significant part of Mark Cherry's storytelling as he uses it to explore the complexities of human emotions and interactions how someone is killed is easy to understand why it happened that's never so simple death and tragedy is pervasive in mark cherry shows and it's often used to explore the human condition and consequences of our choices in desperate housewives the show's opening scene features a woman's which sets the tone for the series and establishes the show's central theme of death and its impact on those left behind. Death and tragedy are constant presences throughout his series, with characters dying, grieving, and attempting to move on from loss. The show's use of dark humor and irony also adds to the theme of death as characters often find themselves in absurd situations as a result of their actions and circumstances. In Devious Maids, the theme of death is also prominent as the character Characters navigate the loss of loved ones and the aftermath of violent acts. The show uses death to explore issues of power, privilege, and corruption as characters must grapple with the consequences of their actions and their impact on others. In Why Women Kill, the theme of death takes on a more explicitly thematic role as each season centers around the murder and its aftermath. The show explores motivations and emotions behind each killing, delving into the character psychology and examining how their relationships and personal histories inform their actions. The theme of death and tragedy allows Sherry to explore the darker side of human nature and the consequences of our choices. By examining the impact of loss and violence on his characters, Sherry creates stories that are both emotionally resonant and thematically rich while offering a nuanced explanation of the human experience. I should have been born rich. We're right there with Nihak now. No, no, it's different for me. You guys know how to pull off poverty. I don't. Is that a compliment? Class is another reoccurring theme in Cherry shows, which often explores the tensions and hierarchies that exist within suburban or wealthy communities. Desperate Housewives delved into the secrets and scandals of a secretly perfect suburban neighborhood, highlighting the class tensions that simmered beneath the surface. Devious Maids similarly explored the dynamics between wealthy employers and their domestic workers, highlighting the class disparities and power imbalances that can arise in these relationships. Why Women Kill also deals with class issues with characters from different socioeconomic backgrounds navigating their relationships and desires in a world defined by wealth and status. I'm Lee's partner, Bob. Oh, your partners. What kind of business? Yeah, whatever it is, just don't let the neighborhood association hear that you work out of your house. They're so not cool. Actually, we're life partners. Oh. Oh. Cherry shows have also been notable for their representation of LGBTQ plus characters and issues. Desperate Housewives featured a gay couple, Bob and Lee, who faced discrimination and disguised homophobia from their neighbors, which was very reflective of its time. Why Women Kill also explores queer themes, with several characters struggling with their sexual identities and desires. These shows have helped to expand the representation of LGBTQ plus people on television and have tackled issues such as marriage equality coming out and discrimination. Nation. Wait, are you saying? Yep, you've started menopause. Humiliation. So did we figure out what was wrong? Finally, Sherry shows often grapple with the challenges and joys of aging, particularly for women. Desperate Housewives focused on the experiences of several middle-aged women as they navigated the ups and downs of marriage, motherhood, and aging. Why Women Kill similarly deals with issues of aging, with characters from different generations confronting their morality, regrets, and desires. These shows have provided nuanced and complex portrayals of women's experiences across the lifespan and have challenged ageist and sexist stereotypes.
The apple is a motif that appears frequently in Cherry shows, often symbolizing temptation, sin, and forbidden desire. In Desperate Housewives, the apple is featured prominently in the opening credits and is used to represent the women's hidden desires and secrets. The apple represents the seductive allure of temptation as well as the consequences that can arise from giving into desire. The apple represents temptation and the fall from grace that can result from giving into temptation. The white picket fence is a reoccurring symbol in Cherry's shows representing the facade of suburban perfection that often masks darker secrets and struggles. The white picket fence is a metaphor for the veneer of respectability that clocks the characters' lives. The fence is also a reminder of the boundaries and divisions that exist between neighbors and communities, highlighting the isolation and disconnection that can result from suburban living. The white picket fence is a common symbol of suburban life and the American dream representing a comfortable, secure, and idyllic existence. However, in Sherry shows, the white picket fence often serves as a facade hiding secrets and struggles of the characters living behind it. This symbol is particularly prominent in Desperate Housewives where the white picket fence is a reoccurring image that is used to contrast the picture-perfect facade of Wisteria Lane with the dark and often disturbing reality of its residents. The white picket fence is also used in why women kill to represent the idealized image of suburban life that the characters are striving for even as they grapple with the messy realities of marriage infidelity and betrayal in both shows the white picket fence serves as a commentary on the ways in which we construct and maintain our public image even as we privately struggle and have secrets that lie behind it the mystery box is a device used in Desperate Housewives to create intrigue and suspense. The concept was introduced in the very first episode where the character of Mary Alice, played by Brenda Strong, commits suicide and leaves behind a mysterious letter that hints at dark secrets beneath the surface of their idyllic suburban community of Wisteria Lane. Throughout the series, various characters on the show are revealed to be keeping secrets or hiding information from others, contributing to the ongoing sense of mystery and tension. The mystery box is a metaphor for the hidden desires and motivations that drive human behavior. Many of the characters on the show are revealed to be harboring secrets and repressed desires, which contribute to the tension and conflict between them. The color red is a powerful symbol in many cultures representing passion, danger, and desire. In Mark Sherry shows, the color red is often used to convey similar themes, particularly related to sexuality and violence. The color is often associated with passion and desire, but it can also represent danger and betrayal. The use of the color red in the show is particularly effective in creating a sense of tension and uncertainty as the audience is never quite sure what secrets and betrayals are lurking beneath the surface. Overall, the color red is a powerful symbol that can convey a range of emotions and themes. In Mark Sherry's shows, it is often used to explore the hidden desires and motivation of the characters while also adding a layer of visual interest and intensity to the storytelling. The staircase is also a reoccurring symbol. In Why Women Kill, it represented the character's journey towards self-discovery and empowerment. Throughout the series, the characters are shown ascending and descending staircases, often in emotional intensity or revelation. The stairs themselves became a symbolic representation of the emotional highs and lows that they experience. For example, in the first season, the character of Beth Ann, played by Jennifer Goodwin, is shown ascending the stairs to her bedroom, after discovering that her husband has been unfaithful. The staircase represents the emotional journey that she's on as she struggles to come to terms with her husband's infidelity and to find the strength to stand up for herself. Throughout the series, the staircase is used as a powerful symbol of the character's emotional journeys, representing the highs and lows that they experience as they come to terms with their own desires, fears, and vulnerabilities. By using the staircase as a recurring motive and symbol, Mark Cherry is able to to create a sense of continuity and connection between the different characters and storylines in the show, helping to weave together a rich and complex tapestry of the human experience.
The garden is often used as a place of beauty, tranquility, and escape, but it can also be a site of danger, betrayal, and violence. In Desperate Housewives, the garden is a key setting for many of the show's most dramatic and memorable moments. It's often portrayed as a place of escape and renewal for the characters where they can retreat from the stress of their daily lives and find a moment of peace and tranquility. However, the garden can also be a site of danger and violence as many of the show's most dramatic moments take place there. For example, in the first season of the show, the character of Brie Vandekamp accidentally runs over her husband with her car while he's working in the garden, leading to a series of dramatic and comedic events. In Why Women Kill, the garden is also a key setting, especially in season two. It is often used to represent a place of beauty and escape for the characters, but it can also be a site of danger and betrayal. In Devious Mains, the show is set in Beverly Hills and features many wealthy families each with their own luxurious homes and gardens. The gardens in the show are often used to represent the wealth and status of the characters as well as their desires to maintain a perfect appearance in front of their neighbors and peers. However, the garden also serves as a site of hidden secrets and unexpected revelations. This use of garden symbolism highlights the idea that even the most carefully constructed appearances can be undermined by the hidden truths and complexities of human nature. Overall, the garden is a powerful symbol of Marcheri shows representing the complexities of human nature and the contradictory impulses that drive us. The use of the garden motif adds depth and richness to the storytelling, creating a sense of contrast and tension that keeps the audience engaged and invested in the characters and their stories. Mark Cherry's shows share some similarities with other television shows and movies in similar genres, but they also have distinct themes and styles that set them apart. Here are some examples. Desperate Housewives vs. Sex in the City. So both shows are focused on the lives of women in a specific location, but Desperate Housewives stands out for incorporating elements of mystery and thriller in its narrative. This is seen through the overarching mystery of Mary Alice Young's death, which slowly revealed throughout the first season, as well as the other plot twists and turns throughout the series. In contrast, Sex in the City is more focused on exploring the lives of four friends and their romantic relationships with some elements thrown in. Another example, Why Women Kill vs. Big Little Lies. So both shows feature an ensemble cast of women and explore the secrets and scandals that occur within a seemingly idyllic community, but there are some key differences in their focus. Why Women Kill is interested in the themes of justice and revenge as seen through the storylines of the women who are pushed to commit murder due to the circumstances of their lives. Big Little Lies, on the other hand, focuses more on the theme of domestic abuse and complex relationship between women, particularly the central characters played by Reese Witherspoon, Nicole Kidman, and Shailene Woodley. Another example would be Devious Maids versus Downton Abbey. Both shows explore the relationship between domestic workers and their wealthy employers, but there are also some significant differences in their settings and themes. Downton Abbey is set in the early 20th century Britain and focuses heavily on historic events and the class divide of that time period with storylines involving the aristocratic Crawley family taking center stage. Devious Maids, on the other hand, is set in present-day Beverly Hills and has a more soapy tone and bears a greater resemblance to traditional telenovelas with storylines revolving around the personal lives of the maids and their wealthy employers. In general, Mark Cherry's shows tend to be more focused on issues of power, class, and personal growth than some of the other shows in their respective genres. Additionally, his shows often incorporate elements of mystery and suspense which sets them apart from more straightforward dramas and comedies however despite these differences all of these shows share a focus on exploring the lives and relationships of female characters which has helped to make them you know popular with audiences she was healthy had a great home a nice family her life was our life Mark Cherry's shows are known for their depth and complexity, and they often represent different archetypes and stereotypes in society. 
For example, in Desperate Housewives, the character of Brie Vandekamp is the classic representation of a perfectionist archetype. She's obsessed with maintaining a certain image of perfection and orderliness and is unable to cope with anything that deviates from her carefully constructed world. Her character is a commentary on the societal pressures placed on women to be perfect in every aspect of their lives, from their appearances to their home life. Another character in Desperate Housewives, Lynette Scavo, represents the work working mother archetype. She's a successful career woman who struggles to balance her job with her responsibilities as a mother and a wife. Her character is a reflection of the challenges faced by working mothers in society that often undervalues their contributions. In Why Women Kill, the character of Beth Ann is a housewife who appears to be content with her mundane life but ultimately discovers a new found sense of empowerment and self-discovery. Her character represents the stereotype of the submissive housewife who is controlled by her husband but ultimately subverts the stereotype by taking control of her own life. Similarly, in Devious Maids, the character of Carmen Luna represents the stereotype of the ambitious Latina maid who dreams of becoming a pop star. However, her character is given depth and complexity as she struggles to navigate the challenges of pursuing her dreams while also dealing with her complicated personal life. Mark Cherry's characters are known for their psychological complexity and development as they are often given rich and personal struggles that shape their behavior and motivation. Innovations. In Desperate Housewives, for example, the character of Susan Myers or Delfino is a neurotic and you know somewhat clumsy divorcee who struggles with relationships and self-confidence. Her character is shaped by her traumatic past, which includes dysfunctional relationship with her father and her failed marriages. Throughout the series, Susan's character undergoes significant development as she confronts her past trauma and learns to love herself. Another example is the character of Edie Britt, who appears as the series' resident victim and femme fatale. However, her character is given depth and complexity through her troubled childhood, her struggles with relationships and self-esteem, and her eventual realization that she wants to be more than just a sexual object. Edie's character is a commentary on the societal expectations placed on women to conform to traditional gender roles and the challenges that come with breaking free from those expectations. Similarly, in Why Women Kill, the characters embody different archetypes and stereotypes that reflect the social and cultural context of the show's time periods. Simone represents the free-spirited, sexually liberated 1980s woman who challenges traditional gender roles and expectations. Meanwhile, Taylor represents the millennial woman who is empowered and assertive but also struggles with identity and relationships. The Devious Maid's character, Rosie Falta, is a dedicated and hardworking maid who is also determined to provide a better life for her son. Her character is shaped by her experiences as an undocumented immigrant and the challenges she faces as a single mother. By incorporating these archetypes and stereotypes, Cherry shows not only provide an insight into the cultural and social context of the time periods they depict, but also allows viewers to connect with characters on a deeper level as they navigate relatable struggles and challenges. Every time I'm around that man, he tries to grab my ass. <laughs> I made over 200000 doing business with him last year. If he wants to grab your ass... Power dynamics play a significant role in the characters' journeys in Cherry's shows. Cherry often creates characters who navigate power structures, whether it's in their personal relationships or their professional lives. Cherry shows explore power dynamics between characters in a variety of contexts, including marriage, friendship, and professional relationships. In Desperate Housewives, the character of Gabrielle Solis manipulates her wealthy husband Carlos to get what she wants, while in Why Women Kill, the character of Carl uses his position as a successful lawyer to control and manipulate his wife Simone. These power dynamics often create tensions and conflict between characters and these characters may struggle to gain or maintain power over others. In Desperate Housewives, the characters navigate power dynamics within their marriages and social circles. Brie Van de Kamp is a perfectionist who always tries to maintain an image of control and authority, but her relationship with her family members and neighbors reveal her vulnerability abilities and insecurities. In Devious Maids, the characters navigate power dynamics in their positions as domestic workers, often being mistreated and exploited by their employers. 
However, they also have agency and power in their own lives and relationships challenging the stereotypes about domestic workers. Sherry's characters often grapple with the moral implications of their actions as they navigate power dynamics. Some characters like Susan Myers make mistakes and try to make amends, while others like Genevieve Delatore in Devious Maids struggle with moral ambiguity and the consequences of their actions. Cherry's characters often navigate agency in complex ways as they try to find their place and assert their control over their lives. In many of his shows, the characters are faced with situations where they must fight for their own sense of agency, whether it's in their personal lives or in the workplace. Oh, don't play victim with me. I have to walk in heels all day long. You get to sit in a chair and roll. You did not just say that. Cherry's characters often navigate complex moral situations with actions and motivations that blur the lines between right and wrong. For example, Brie Van Kamp struggles with her sense of morality when she covers up her son's hit and run accident, ultimately leading to the death of a victim's mother. Similarly, in Why Women Kill, Beth Ann must grapple with her own complicity in her husband's infidelity and the resulting of his murder. These characters' moral ambiguity allows for nuanced explorations of ethical questions, forcing the viewers to confront their own beliefs and values. It also adds depth to the characters as they're not simply heroes or villains, but complex individuals with their own strengths and flaws. However, the moral ambiguity of Cherry's characters has also been criticized for being too sensationalistic and even immoral in itself. Some critics have argued that the way Cherry presents characters engaging in unethical behavior without facing appropriate consequences can be seen as glorifying or normalizing such behaviors. Others argue that the show's ultimate message is one of accountability and consequences as many characters do face punishments for their actions, even if it's not immediate or obvious. The actors and actresses portraying Cherry's characters play a crucial role in bringing these characters to life and contributing to the popularity and impact of his shows. Cherry's shows have featured an impressive rosters of talented actors, including Terry Hatcher, Felicity Hoffman, Marsha Cross, Eva Longoria, Nicolette Sheridan, and most recently, Jennifer Goodwin, Lucy Liu, Lana Parija, Alison Tolman, among others. One of the key factors that has contributed to the success of Cherry's shows is the strong performances of these actors who bring depth to their characters, making them relatable and engaging for audiences. In many cases, these performances have garnered critical acclaim and recognition for cementing their popularity of Sherry shows. Moreover, the casting of diverse actors in Sherry shows has also been lauded for its positive representation and impact. In Desperate Housewives, for example, the diverse cast represented the changing demographics of America, showing the range of culture and backgrounds. Similarly, Why Women Kill features a diverse cast of characters including LGBTQ plus representation and people of color in leading roles. The impact of these shows and characters on popular culture cannot be understated and the actors and actresses who play them play a critical role in bringing them to life and resonating with the audiences. The performances have helped shape the cultural conversation around issues such as race, gender, sexuality, and aging and have contributed to the enduring popularity and impact of Cherry's work. Now, some say it takes two to tango. And sometimes, lurking in the dark is a third. Mark Cherry's shows experiment with different visual and auditory styles to enhance the storytelling and create a unique viewing experience. One notable aspect of Cherry's shows is their use of vivid and striking cinematography. The camera work is often stylized and intentionally draws the attention of certain elements on the screen. For example, in Desperate Housewives, the show's signature sweeping shots of Wisteria Lane's suburban setting with its lush greenery and picturesque homes establish a sense of place and emphasizes the facade of perfection that the characters strive to maintain. In Why Women Kill, the show uses creative camera angles such as Dutch angles and low angles to convey the characters' emotions and perspective. In Desperate Housewives, the opening credits sequence is a visual feast showcasing various domestic items and activities such as baking, gardening, and vacuuming. 
The sequence is set to the tune of Danny Elfman's haunting and whimsical score, creating a tone of dark humor and mystery. Devious Maids features a vibrant and colorful cinematography with a strong emphasis on the luxurious, opulent lifestyles of the wealthy families the maids work for. The show also makes use of Latin music and Spanish language dialogue, reflecting the cultural heritage of the maids and adding to the show's unique flavor. Why Women Kill, the show experiments with different visual styles to reflect the different time periods in which the stories take place. The 1960s storylines is shot in a bright and colorful style with retro outfits and furniture, while the 1980s storyline is darker and grittier with a focus on neon lights. And punk rock music. Cherry shows utilizes music to a great effect. For instance, Desperate Housewives features a haunting, melancholic score composed by Danny Elfman, which contributed to the show's dark and mysterious tone. In Devious Mains, the Latin music and rhythms were used to reflect the cultural backgrounds of the show's main characters, and in Why Women Kill, the show's 1960s setting is underscored with period appropriate music. A significant aspect of Cherry shows often used to evoke emotions or set the mood for a scene. In Desperate Housewives, a wide range of music is used to reflect the diverse tastes and backgrounds of the characters. In Why Women Kill, period appropriate music is used to create a sense of time and place, such as the use of songs by Connie Francis in the 1960s storyline. Cherry shows often use genre tropes and conventions to create suspense, humor, and emotional resonance. Desper Housewives plays with conventions of suburban drama genre by adding a layer of mystery and suspense. The show's initial mystery of Mary Alice's side and the subsequent unfolding of secrets and scandals kept audiences hooked and guessing until the end. Similarly, Why Women uses the trope of the murder mystery genre to add suspense and intrigue to its storytelling. The show's narrative structure, which follows three different women living in different time periods, also adds an element of mystery as the audience tries to piece together the connections between the characters. Devious Mates also featured a number of deaths and mysteries that would only get resolved at the end of the season, always keeping the audiences hooked and wondering. You know, Cherry's shows use humor to balance out the more serious and dramatic elements. Desperate Housewife often uses dark humor and satire to comment on suburban life and its hypocrisies. Devious Maids similarly uses humor to tackle serious issues such as class and race, while also providing a comedic look at the lives of the wealthy families they work for. In terms of emotional resonance, Mark Cherry shows often use music and sound design to heighten the emotional impact of key scenes. Desperate Housewives often uses melancholy piano music to underscore emotional moments, while Why Women Kill uses music from different time periods to evoke a sense of nostalgia and emotional resonance. Additionally, the use of flashbacks and non-linear storytelling in Cherry shows often allows for a deeper exploration of the characters' motivations and emotions, adding to the emotional resonance of the storytelling. While the storm had raged, each of them had learned something about friendship. And redemption. One notable aspect of Cherry's storytelling is his use of multiple intersecting storylines and perspective, often with a mystery or a twist that ties them together. This technique creates a sense of suspense and intrigue for the audience as they try to piece together various plot threads and anticipate the eventual reveal. In contrast, other shows and movies in similar genres may focus more heavily on a single storyline or character or may use a more linear narrative structure. For example, a typical crime procedural may follow a detective or law enforcement agents as they work to solve a single case with occasional subplots involving their personal lives. Another contrast can be seen in the use of humor and tone. Cherry's shows often balance darker themes and storylines with moments of humor, which can serve to both lighten the mood and provide special commentary. In contrast, other shows and movies may lean more heavily towards one particular tone or mood, such as dark and gritty or lighthearted and comedic. Overall, Cherry's storytelling techniques are characterized by their interest multi-layered approach with a focus on character development, complex plot structures, and a balance of different tones and genres. This sets his shows apart from others in similar genres and has helped to establish
establish him as a distinctive and influential voice in television. Mark Cherry's shows often use non-linear storytelling techniques such as flashbacks, time jumps, and multiple character perspectives to create suspense and build mysteries. To make it simple, in one scope, you can look at Mark Cherry's shows and get a flair of witty and acerbic dialogue with an often satirical or ironic tone, a talent for weaving multiple storylines and characters together into a cohesive narrative, a penchant for exploring the darker side of seemingly idyllic suburban and domestic settings, a focus on female characters and their experiences, often with an emphasis on women's relationships and struggles with power dynamics, a knack for incorporating soap opera style twist and cliffhangers into his storytelling and a willingness to engage with social issues commentary through his work such as class immigration and gender roles mark cherry's shows are just characterized by their blend of humor drama and social commentary his use of symbolism and motives combined with the strong character development and storytelling techniques allows him to tackle complex issues while keeping his audiences engaged. Cherry's vision of storytelling highlights the importance of representation, diversity, and agency for all characters, and his impact on television has been significant, inspiring many other creators to follow in his footsteps. As Mark Cherry continues to create new shows, it's likely that he'll continue to explore themes of power, dynamics, moral ambiguity, and complexities of human relationships. It's possible that he may also continue to experiment with different genres and storytelling techniques and you know, push the boundaries of what audiences expect from television. In terms of impact, Cherry's shows have already left a significant mark on the television industry. It's possible that his future shows will continue to push these boundaries as well as new themes and perspective. Overall, Cherry's vision as a showrunner and writer has been one of exploring the complexities of human relationships, societal issues, while also experimenting with different genres and storytelling technique. And it's likely that his future work will continue to push these boundaries while also contributing to the ongoing evolution of television industry. As with any analysis, this one has its limitations and potential biases. For example, this might have been subject to some of my personal opinions and interpretations and may not reflect the views of others. Additionally, there may be other aspects of Cherry shows that are not explored in this analysis and further research and discussion is needed to fully understand their significance and impact. Despite these limitations, this analysis highlights the ways in which Cherry's shows use of storytelling, character development, and visual auditory techniques to explore complex social issues and create compelling narratives. As Cherry continues to work in the television industry, it'll be interesting to see how his shows evolve and what impact they have on the industry as a whole. If you got to this point of the video, thank you so much. Um, obviously, don't hesitate to share your thoughts down below. Also, I would really like to know what's your favorite Mark Cherry show. I know that I have a little bit of a bias towards Desperate Housewives just because that's what I watched first a very, very long time ago. But I also really, really love both Devious Maids and Why Women Killed. And I'm so disgusted that Why Women Killed was canceled. It's so annoying. But yeah, comment down below what's your favorite Mark Sherry show and why. And also, if you'd like me to do a separate deep dive on either of these individual shows, please make sure to um, comment that down below. Again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.